We are presenting uh, the innovative protocol of trace and place in uh, uh, using Navident for guided surgery, dynamic guided surgery, which boils down uh, to three phases, CBCT planning uh, and again trace and place. We start by scanning the patient without any radiologic stent and therefore we collect and upload the DICOM files into Navident software. So once the, um, the, the file are uploaded, we do enter a manual mode because there is no acknowledgement of the fiducials and then we identify either the maxilla or the mandible. After that, we just do plan the case um, uh, following uh, the same uh, protocol that uh, we already know, uh, which is uh, basically using a, a geometrical shape of the implant and then using uh, the handles to uh, elongate, to lengthen the implant or to widen up the implant. But uh, at the end of the day, when uh, the uh, planning uh, is uh, accomplished, we will tap into a starter kit with Tracy Place, which uh, con consists in a, a head tracker for the maxilla. The head tracker is fixed on patient's ear, ears and then a tracer. Tracer will be used to uh, really trace the surface of uh, three individual teeth. So the protocol starts with uh, basically uh, the calibration only of uh, the uh, tip of the tracer and then uh, after that the tracer uh, is pointed uh, to three teeth and uh, for each individual uh, tooth uh, the surgeon needs to um, cover a surface of 100 points for each individual tooth. So we will start with uh, the first tooth then uh, moving on uh, on the second tooth and again uh, uh, the movement of the surgeon is not uh, by uh, simply pointing uh, on the teeth but just uh, like drawing uh, on the sur on the surface of uh, the single tooth. Therefore we get uh, 100 point uh, again on the second tooth and uh, we, we are ready to move on uh, on the third tooth. And as we can see on this uh, snapshot, we do have a flag on the first two teeth and uh, an X on the third to show that we need to accomplish uh, again that, uh, that um, uh, um, tracing of that the tooth. Tracing which uh, again has, has been carried out using the tracer. While we are uh, finishing uh, the third tooth, uh, automatically the software matches uh, the volumetric mesh of the three teeth onto the DICOM files, as we can see on the picture. And uh, soon after, using the tracer, we measure the accuracy by touching any teeth and uh, um, any tooth on, uh, on the maxilla in this case, and, uh, and basically proving that uh, the whole process uh, uh, went well. Then we start doing uh, our standard uh, axis calibration, in this case using a, a jaw tag which has been uh, used outside the mouth and then shown uh, to, uh, to the, the cameras and then uh, again probing and uh, checking uh, the accuracy uh, of the drill by touching uh, adjacent teeth and measuring uh, the congruency between uh, what we do and what we see. And after that, you know, the surgeons start drilling following uh, the crosshair and uh, following, uh, uh, you know, uh, and pinpointing uh, the center of the crosshair. And again, that uh, exercise will be carried out looking at uh, the laptop screen and, uh, uh, of course, not only in uh, drilling but also in uh, placing the implant, uh, the old exercise can be guided dynamically using Navident. This was uh, for, the, for, the, for the maxilla, for the mandible we do have uh, a jaw tracker which is fixed, a light cued uh, on one uh, available tooth and again the, proce the procedure is exactly the same that we've been uh, explained uh, for the maxilla. Thanks for your attention.